I've wanted to add some sound dampening material to my studio space for some time, but I don't have a very large room where I can put eight inch thick bass traps across the corners and have really thick sound panels hanging on the walls. So I've come up with a few materials that I want to try out and I'm going to share them with you today. So like a lot of you, I started out by buying some of this really soft foam and it, it really has no density. It's very spongy. I put a little bit up on the walls as you can see behind me, but it really doesn't do anything much for the space. And so I thought, well, there has to be something better, again, without having to come in eight, 10 inches off the walls in the space. So I ended up getting some of this BXI sound absorber material. And it's a very heavy, thick density material, very much different than the foam. It's quite thin, it's just a little under half an inch. But uh, I thought, you know, this high density material is probably going to uh, at least prevent some of the reflections that are coming off the walls. So we're gonna put some of that up to see what happens. I have it in a couple of colors. One of the nice things about this is it comes in multiple colors. So if you wanna do something to decorate your space a bit, you can do that as well. Now for the corners, again, I don't have space for really thick, deep base traps, but I did find this material from AeroZoom and it is foam, but it is quite a bit thicker and heavier than again, the really inexpensive, cheap uh, foam material that's so thin. This, uh, this actually has some density, and I thought if nothing else, it'll finish off the corner space. It's got a little bit of a design, so may, may uh, change the reflections a little bit. Not 100% sure, but I thought I would try it out since it does fit in my space. If this is your first time watching my channel, welcome. And if you're a content creator, gamer, streamer, and you're looking to level up your content, if you're interested in cameras, microphones, audio, video gear, streaming accessories, software. I produce content weekly with tutorials, unboxings, and product reviews. So think about subscribing and hit that like button so you don't miss any of my weekly content. And I also wanted something that was going to be affordable and also wasn't going to damage the wall. So I didn't want to use a lot of adhesives to put it up. So I'm going to be using this Gorilla Tape mounting tape. So this will allow me to attach it to the wall. It's gonna hold really well, but if I do want to remove it, it's not going to take all the surface off of the drywall. Before I go ahead and put the material on the walls, I'm going to record just a brief passage with a couple of claps so that you can compare later on to see if it made any difference. And all the recordings in this video are being made using a single mic D2, which is a hypercardioid shotgun microphone connected directly into my Focusrite 8i6. The Audio-Technica ATH-M40X professional monitor headphones have cutting-edge engineering and robust construction. 40 millimeter drivers with rare earth magnets and copper-clad aluminum wire voice coils are tuned flat for incredibly accurate sound monitoring across the entire frequency range. Now that I've recorded a test sample, let's go ahead and get this material on the walls. And as you can see, it was a bit of a project to get this done, but now that it's all finished, let's go ahead and take a look at the finished room. And I'm happy with the overall appearance, but let's do the sound test and see if it made any difference. The Audio-Technica ATH-M40X professional monitor headphones have cutting edge engineering and robust construction. With 40 millimeter drivers with rare earth magnets and copper clad aluminum wire voice coils, tuned flat for incredibly accurate sound monitoring across the entire frequency range. So could you hear a difference? Let me know in the comments below. 
But now let's load the sound files up into Audition and see if we can actually see a difference in the waveforms. The Audio-Technica ATH-M40X Professional Monitor headphones have cutting-edge engineering and robust construction. 40 millimeter drivers with rare earth magnets and copper clad aluminum wire voice coils are tuned flat for incredibly accurate sound monitoring across the entire frequency range. Now let's look at the sample after the sound treatment in addition. The Audio-Technica ATH-M40X Professional Monitor headphones have cutting-edge engineering and robust construction. With 40 millimeter drivers with rare earth magnets and copper-clad aluminum wire voice coils, tuned flat for incredibly accurate sound monitoring across the entire frequency range. So after measuring the results in Audition, I found that the reverb dropped down from 119 milliseconds before the panels to 81 milliseconds after the panels. That's a 38 millisecond reduction and almost a 32% difference. And when it comes to amplitude, after normalizing volume, I found that the maximum amplitude of the reverberation dropped from minus 16 down to minus 24. That's a reduction of minus eight, but more importantly, 50% over the original signal. That's a significant difference that I expect to hear in my recordings. And remember, I recorded this entire video with a hypercardioid shotgun microphone. One of the worst possible cases for a room with indoor dialogue. And so in my next video, I'll be switching out the boom mic to see what kind of a difference I can get. I'll have links in the description below for the BXI sound absorber panels. I really think there is value here in reducing the reverberation in your space. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, think about subscribing and check out some of the videos on the screen. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.